Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting installment of Let's Read. Today we are going to be taking a look at one of the most legendary stick figure comics ever made. Made a master class in writing, character, and one that I'm sure a lot of you have heard about. The Order of the Stick by Rich Burlew, one of the longest running webcomics, especially for a stick figure art style. The Order of the Stick is a hell of a niche. It's a stick figure comic, and it's also a D&D comic. And, and I don't mean that in like, oh, it's an RPG, you know, like uh, looking for group or, or RPG fantasy type thing. No, this is like actual D&D. There is uh, going to be a lot of D&D references that I will not get. You probably won't either, but it's still enjoyable nonetheless. A quick show of hands, who here has actually played D&D? I am only familiar, mildly familiar with it. I've never actually played like, other than like two rounds of Vampire the Masquerade, um, I've never actually officially played like Dungeons of itself. So. I've almost only exclusively DM. I have Absolutely. played very little as a character. Mm. Well, at least in that way, you will have more experience and knowledge about the inside jokes that they're going to Well, through. this one is apparently starting on 3.5, which I know very little. <laughs> So gay okay, because they, they just moved to 3.5. I don't think they ever moved to 4E. I don't think they ever want to. <laughs> well, 4 sucks, yeah. No, no one moved to 4. I only played Pathfinder. Still a noob at that, so no. Oh, I've played, but I'm terrible at it. And that's what makes it fun. Fair. I once played a rogue who had no lockpicks. So I was a very loud rogue. It's great. But anyway, for those who don't know, the Order of the Stick just follows a uh, casual group of uh, adventurers. There's Haley, Roy, Ilan, Belkar Bitterleaf, Varsuvius, the androgynous elf, and um, forgot what the damn dwarf's name. Thunderfoot, probably. No, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, it's not oh. Thunderfoot. To join us, though, in our own merry band of men, we have with us Sasquatch. Greetings. How are you guys doing? And uh, Zombie. Oh, hello. Hi. I returned from the eighth dimension. Great. <laughs> Bless us with her female presence. Yeah, diversity ahoy, mateys. I'm 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 here for the tokenism. Also, and our ever present Stanton High. Hey everybody, glad to be back and stoked to uh, see a new comic. Crackling. Let us not forget also a special guest star, Danimal Collective. Oh, I'm here under false pretenses. They said we were doing VG Cats, but I guess we'll do Ew. this. Ew. Later. <laughs> Later. Look, look, I'm trying to set the precedence here, all right? As a furry host, I'm going to... I'm going to wait until we reach an anniversary and then we'll read a furry. I'm trying to let them believe that, you know, we're not just for furry stuff. We will get there. Oh boy, we will get there. Besides, if anything, we're reading two kinds first. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but I assume it's how different. dare you. <laughs> yeah, that's how you that's how you sniff out the non furry right there. Oh, oh. well, I well consider me sniffed. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Phrasing. <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, and to start us off, we have with us Caleb Black. Hello, it's me, your favorite guy. So this is going to be an interesting one. Let's go. What the hell? The goblin was going to knock you on your ass. You didn't know. I just felt really stable. One more time. I didn't know. I just felt really stable. I think it's a change. Sweet. I understand. We, I believe we are being converted to the new 3.5 edition. Well, I do feel more intimidating. Yes! I've been doing this Ranger crap for three years now. It's about time for an upgrade. Come on, some... come on. Daddy needs some new skill points. <laughs> Ooh, uh, weapon shrinkage. <laughs> it's so tiny. Damn it! Ooh, skill points. Damn it! Ping. Uh, 
skill points. I love my six new skill points. This level is huge. We're never going to find the stairs down at this rate. Haley, you could take half the team and scout out those. Okay. Varsuvius, you're with me. Our fates are now intertwined. Ooh. Oh, uh, Durkin, follow me. Um, Elkar. Loser. Ooh, ooh, pick me. Okay, meet up later. Ooh, boy, ooh, ooh, come on. Pick me. Are you gonna... I'm thinking, yes. So, the Boots of Speed were totally powerful, but they were, like, lime green. Indeed, a most grave conundrum you faced. Wait, I think I just failed a spot check. Really? I don't see anything. Exactly. Hey, V, don't you have a familiar that grants alertness? Hmm, oh yes, yes, of course. My raven is right here. See anything? I do not. Pop, I didn't know you had a familiar. Um, we're like right here. Wait, I think I just failed a listen check. Jump, 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 jump over the pit. What are you doing? I'm inspiring competence. I use my magical songs to lift the spirit and make any task easier. Whatever. Uh, I need go to pass. Eh, let me handle this. I like. Uh, uh, oh, man. <clears throat> oh, uh, hello, we, uh, paid yesterday. Oh, okay. Bluff, 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 bluff the sugar. I guess he rolled his sense motive. I hate you. Did we lose the ogre? If by lose the ogre, you mean attracted two of his friends, uh, then yes. Pastor, please. <laughs> I still don't see anything. Expeditious retreat. Expeditious retreat. Ogres. Uh, nice spot check. Bum, bum, butter, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Uh, woo. Wait, what were you guys running from? Well, this looks like a good place to rest. Well, there ogres be done for. So what are we doing next? Oh, right. Cure serious wounds. Cure serious wounds. Cure light wound. Heal, heal, heal. Hey, that was at least a moderate wound. Clot, clot, clot. Helen! Hi, Haley. Look, I found all these free swords. They were in my spleen. How badly are you hurt, lad? That depends. How important is one of these? Elin's in a bad way, and I'm out of CSWs now. Do what you can, Durkin. Mighty Thor, your humble servant asks ye for aid in the hour of need. Hello, and welcome to Thor Prayer. To continue in common, chant one now. Uh, one. If you know the name of the miracle you would like to request, chant one now. One. Please intone the first three letters of the name of the miracle now. Well, uh, I went to heal ye, so, uh, H-E-A. You have selected Heathen Smiting. If this is correct, chant one. If not, chant two. Ooh! You have selected Heat Blisters of Eternal Pain. If this is correct, chant one. If not, chant two. Ooh, two! You have selected Tumor. To choose the type of tumor with which to smite Thor's enemies, chant three now. Three. No, crap. You have selected Colon Tumor. Yeah. Um, could I just get a potion? Elin, I found this healing potion for you. Thanks, Haley. Glug, 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 glug. Wow, that is some good stuff. I'll say. But how did it fix my- Have either of you guys seen a green bottle around? Hey! You took my potion! What? Oh, I get it. I'm a rogue, so I must have stolen your potion. Ooh, better bolt everything down when Haley's around, she's a rogue. But- but you're holding the bottle! Frankly, Belcar, with all the unflattering images of halflings you see, I thought you would be more sensitive. 
Um, I, uh, I didn't mean, uh... No, that's all right. I just, I just thought we were better friends than that. You should be ashamed. Wow, that was great. My daddy was a first edition thief. It runs in the family. Meta, meta. Oh, you better get used to that, baby. Uh, what's going on? We found a magic belt on one of the ogres. The man is casting Identify. I bet it's a... Oh, sorry, excuse me. I bet it's a belt... Wait, hold on. I bet it's a belt of giant... Okay, sorry. I bet it's a belt of giant strength. Yeah? Ten gold says it's not. It could be a belt of many pockets. Uh, Good guess. If it weren't for the fact that it doesn't have any... Oh, I don't know. Pockets? Lo, I have completed my divinations. This object of arcane power is a girdle of femininity slash masculinity. A what? The belt contains a complex enchantment that transforms a wearer into the opposite gender. You're kidding. I am not. (laughs) What a piece of crap. Let's get out of here. You owe me ten gold. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Where the hell were you? Um, nowhere. Shh. How many? Twelve. No, thirteen. Sir Greenhouse, I believe I have a spell of power that may help. Sounds good. And don't call me sir. Behold your fate, creatures of darkness. Your demise is at hand, for I wield arcane power beyond your feeble goblin reasoning. The forces of the very cosmos are mine to command, and yet still you cannot comprehend the dark dismal end in store for you and your wicked compatriots. Nay, your little brains can only leave you gasping in horror as I bend reality to my very will. The magic I wield is capable of rendering asunder the universe, nay, the whole of the multiverse, and in fact is wasted on such pitiful creatures as yourself. But I shall bring it to bear with bear another nonetheless. Hello, in days and years to come, when the children come to play in the smoking crater that once held your den of evil, they shall know nothing of your wicked Good job, Vesuvius. Your spell put the goblins to sleep. But, but, I did not cast my spell yet. Oh. Coup de gras? Coup de gras? Wretched do-gooders! Uh-oh. Looks like someone made their will save. But I didn't cast anything. And now it's your turn. Unholy blight. Can't think. Can't move. Overwhelmed by pure evil. Hate monsters with class levels. Ah, you pure-hearted fools cannot withstand the power of evil. Hey, what's going on? Unholy blight. Step. Hey, why wasn't Belcar affected? Best not to dwell on it. Dibs on the amulet. At last, the stairs down. Ooh, that goblin cleric was worth 1,000 XP. Time to go down a level. Time to go up a level. Uh, Up a level, but we already did that. Sure, now we do it again. Why? What's up a level? More sneak attack. What? We'll get sneak attacked if we go up a level? No, silly, just me. You want to go up a level so you can get sneak attacked? Naturally. No way. There's That's too dangerous. We go down a level instead. Down a level? Wouldn't you need, like, a vampire or something for that? Huh? Anyway, what do we get if we go down a level? Tougher monsters. You want to go down a level and face tougher monsters? Of course. Uh, wouldn't it make more sense to go up a level before facing tougher monsters? No, we already finished that level. We should go down a level. Up! Down. Up! Down. Aha! A new spell level. L-E-V-E-L. Huh? I spelled level. But you're a fighter. You can't learn spell levels. (laughs) Can't spell? Is that another fighters are dumb crack? Oh, shit. That's it. We're going down a level. Up a level! But if we go down a level, I will lose my spell level. L-E-V-E-L. Huh? How much crap do we go through on a daily basis because no one at TSR looked up level in the thesaurus? Sad. Yeah, this was the worst, like, who's on first <laughs> fucking joke yes. ever. This is an infamously bad page. 
<laughs> is this I, like a super famous webcomic? Like, do tons of people like this? Um, it's I, pretty, I wouldn't say it's like super famous. It is it is well respected, especially by webcomic standards. Like anyone who knows there's anyone who is well versed in like golden age webcomics well we should know about the order of the stick just because of how fucking great it is and its art style actually maybe it's a shot in the dark but is the stick of truth like a, a reference to this maybe because i don't no. know Yo. I, I, I doubt it no that'd be that would be amazing but no the stairs down we're one step closer to our goal why didn't you just say you wanted to go down? Uh, we have a goal? Sure. Oh, why did you think we were here? Well, I just figured we'd wander around, kill some sentient creatures because they had green skin and fangs, and we don't, and then take their stuff. What? Of course we have a goal, Belkar. Let me share it with you. Uh, no, here we go. We quest in the deep, dark dungeon of Dorkan. A horrible pit filled with evil monsters. And treasure. Created by the mad lich Zykon, an undead mage mad with his own power. Ooh, bad lich. And treasure. But we will strike down the Zykon and make the countryside safe again. Stinker snack. And treasure. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. This treasure idea intrigues me, and I wish to learn more. How'd you do that, lad, with the pictures? My newest bard spell, Summon Plot Exposition. Sir Greenhilt, I regret to inform you I have cast all but one of my world-shattering enchantments. I, I'd be running close to empty myself, lad. Mm, okay, let's camp here. V and Durkin will sleep all night. I'll take first watch. Haley, you take second. Got it! <laughs> mine, all mine. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, on second thought, Belcor, you take second watch. Damn it. <laughs> I have deep seated emotional problems. Die, die, die. Uh, no, 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 wait. Um, how about you rest and we let Elon. I, we're here to kill everyone. Okay. Bonk, bonk. <sighs> Looks like another all nighter. <sighs> Stupid, unreliable party members. Roy, Roy. <laughs> Was it? Is somebody calling me? No, Roy. I'm just shouting, Roy, Roy, for the hell of it. Ah, Dad. But you and Mom are both dead. Yeah, funny thing about being a ghost, it has some harsh prerequisites. Now stop being shocked with disbelief and listen to this. When the goat turns, red strikes true. What? I don't, I don't understand. Of course you don't understand yet. It's foreshadowing. Foreshadowing? Good gods, boy. It's a common literary technique used to build tension by hinting at events yet to come. Didn't they teach you anything in that fancy fighter school I sent you to? Of course, your mother wanted you to be a wizard, but no. I had to pay 40,000 GP a year in tuition so you could learn to swing a big sword. It's called a great sword, Dad. <laughs> well, I'm playing canasta with some archons tonight. Gotta go. But wait, Dad. Remember, Roy, when the goat turns red, strikes true. And what? They have no clerics where you live. Would it kill you to speak with dead ones in a while to let your mother and me know how you're doing? Would it ever kill you to speak to the dead and talk to your mother? Jeez. You're up early. Technically, I do not sleep. Eh, join the club. Hey, V, uh, how much do you know about spirits? My knowledge of the denizens of the underworld is unmatched. I think I was just visited by a ghost. Ghost, turn undead! <laughs> My eyes! Durkin, we're just talking. There's no one dead. Go back to sleep. Oh, sorry. So you received a message from beyond the veil. No doubt with a message of import. Yeah, I suppose that and a guilt trip. 
In my experience, one should always heed such missives from the grave. The way in which humans often ignore such omens leaves me aghast. Aghast? Turn undead! God damn it, Durkin! My eyes! Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. I just hate them undead, so... Won't happen again. Uh, so... Back to bed, then. Uh, anyway, I think the spirit was my father. Indeed, then I would give his words additional weight, as such signs are rare. I guess that means him and Mom are up there looking after me, which is kind of cool. A witch is binding ghouls? Turn undead! Okay, now you're stretching it. Sweet mess for God's my horror useless eyes! I'll watch over Versuvius and Trigger Happy here. And while they prepare their spells, you three sneaky people go scouting or something. Why do we gotta take Elan? He's totally useless. He's not useless. He's use impaired. Thanks, Haley. You're not helping. Ah, Elan, do you even carry a weapon? Sure, I have a rapier. You call that skinny thing a weapon? I could sunder that by speaking too loudly. But can you do this? Ta-da! Wow, o okay. That is impressive. Cool. And it makes our job of finding you so much easier. We just failed our hide and our spot checks, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Big time. Damn it! Thunder. What the hell is that thing? I don't know. I must have failed my bardic or lore roll. We are the Chimera Trigak. Lycog knows you have slain many goblins. He sent us. Now you die. I'm surprised. Me too. Yes, well, allow me to offer your employer this counterproposal. Sneak attack. Twang. Haley, you want initiative. Go again. Oh, right. Sneak attack. Twang. Wow, that first attack was surprising. But I really didn't expect the second one. Stupid sneak attacks. We need to attack! How? You, you broke my rapier! Look out! The dragon head! <laughs> Evasion. Wink. Attack! Dodge, dodge, dodge! You have little counter attack! We need to get out of here. He's too strong. I'll create a cunning illusion to distract him while we run. Run! You've got to be kidding! I'm sorry. We're in a committed relationship right now. It's not you. It's us. After the... Aw, that's so sweet. Nice distraction, idiot. He's right on our tail. Hey, how was I supposed to know he ain't a player? Never say playa again. All done? Indeed, I have refreshed my repertoire of magic spells. My mind is afire with the arcane power that threatens the first forth. The day is new and the dawn, while unseen, greets my freshly renewed mystic powers. If only I had a target upon which to unleash my mighty magic. Zykon <laughs> sends you death. Help, Roy V. It's all you, dog. I love the smell of bat guano in the morning. It smells like victory. Fireball! Ah! Ah! Lightning bolts! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Evan spiked tentacles of frost intrusion! Wait, what? Oh, that's gotta be uncomfortable. I can't watch. In the future, remind me to wait until late afternoon before insulting Varsuvius. No oh, horror, oh, that oh, horror. horror. At the earliest. Fly away. I'm not comfortable being grappled there. You may have won this round, Order of the Stick, but we swear our revenge on you when you least expect. Gak. 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 Oh. Oh, yeah! Who the halfling? I'm the halfling! No! 
hell, Car? He was supposed to get away. What are you talking about, Haley? Duh, he was obviously supposed to be a reoccurring villain. I mean, he had a name, and he was in the middle of swearing to get us and our little dog, too. And it's pretty clear he was going to come back. Hmm, a, a goat head, kinda. Excuse me? Well, this way we get XP from him. Hello, we defeated him. We would have gotten XP anyway. When the goat turns red, strike true. That's what my dad said. Hmm. The goat did become angry, turned red, used the vernacular, and then Belkar indeed struck true. Ugh, if that's it, that is the most lame-ass prophecy in the long history of lame-ass prophecies. Um, maybe he'll come back as a vampire or something. No, no, too late. We won't see him again. Or will they? Dun, dun, dun. Aelin, stop doing dramatic music cues for the dead Chimera. Hey, Belkar. I've been discussing strategy with Haley, and we have a job for you. Really? Okay. Yeah, that Chimera said Zykon had sent him up through the dungeon to kill us. Sure did. But if the Chimera was sent by Zykon, then it must have come from Zykon's secret throne room, which means we can track it back to that throne room, get it? We can track it back to the throne room. You're a ranger. Yeah, and? Listen carefully. We want to track the Chimera. Right. You're a ranger. Right. That's it. I don't get it. Sigh. That Chimera made fun of how short you are. Oh, that's it! I'm going to track down that loser's family and slit their friggin' throats! I work with the tools I've been given. Sue me. Bah! That stupid Chimera didn't even eat one of them! That's what I get for hiring discount mercenaries. Three for one, deal my bony ass! Okay, who's next? Or discount mercenaries, Lord Zykon, sir. Eh, well, send them out. They're already paid for. And remind me later to have a talk with that staffing department. Yes, your evilness. W what about me, Master? Uh, let me smash the hated order of the stick for you. No, my minion. You are my secret weapon. I shall reveal you only when the time is right. Well, can I at least get out of these dark, concealing shadows? Didn't I just say I wasn't going to reveal you? But there's no one here but us. Hey, who's the arch-villain here? I know the drill. The bad guy always keeps his secret weapon cloaked in shadow until the climax. He could do a cutaway to us at any moment. But it's it's dark over here. Oh, stop being a baby. Turn that off! Oh man. Clank, 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 clank. Hey, fellow goblin, do you hear that sound? You mean that loud clanking? Yes, I refer to the loud, repetitive clanking. I believe perhaps a group of adventurers is approaching. Well then, we had better flee, thus denying them valuable XP for defeating us. A capital idea. Do not forget to take our precious loot with us. Yes, we would not want those adventurers, which we can clearly hear approaching, to recoup the expenses incurred by this expedition. What about this powerful magical object which we are incapable of using to defend ourselves, but would be quite effective in their hands if they were to defeat us? Better destroy it, then. And why not arm this deadly but well-hidden booby trap, goblin friend? Done. Now let us flee. Damn it, Durkin. That's the fifth group in a row to do that. Is there any way you could possibly alert war monsters to our presence? Maybe you could get a big red neon sign that says, Heroes are here. Jeez. See? I told you it was a good idea. Stay in the back, Sir Clanks a lot. Maybe we can actually earn some XP today. Wow, Durkin. You really do make a lot of noise. I cannot help it, laddie. It's me armor. It's called the armor check penalty. And it be sinking me moves silently and check into the nether regions. 
see for yourself. Wow. But since I need my armor to protect me, I must live with it. You know, ever since I got this chain shirt, I haven't been good at hiding. Aye, it's the same thing. It's just simple fact about armor. The less you wear, the harder it be for them to see you. The less I wear, the harder I am to see. Woo! <laughs> I'm invisible! You can't see me! Uh, how I wish that was true. Please cast blindness on me! Okay, a shiny copper piece to the first person who can tell me why Elon is running around naked. Giant moth attack? Maybe a bad guy cast dispel clothes. Ah, well, methinks that he thinks that if he took off his clothes, he'd have a lower armor check penalty. Wow, that is such a stupid idea. I feel dumber just for hearing it. Okay, where is the streaking minstrel? We've got to put an end to this. Really? Because I was kind of hoping we could talk Haley into it. Are you kidding? I'm her employer. If she gets back to town and tells all her colleagues in the Rogues Guild about something like this, they'll slap me with a sexual harassment suit faster than you can say protection from law. Damn labor unions. No. We need to get him and put his short sword back in its sheath before she comes back from scouting or I'm toast. Ruin all my fun. Stupid PC PCs. Elon, are, are you over here? Hi, Roy. I know you can't see me because I'm so good at hiding now. Actually, I can't see you because I would rather poke my eyes out with a burning stick than open them right now. But hey, whatever. Oh, well, um, hey, want to help me? Hey, want to help me practice my tumbling skill? Oh, God. Elon, this is ridiculous. You should put your clothes back on. No way. I've never felt so free. And I am so... Gosh. Why is this? Okay. Okay. Got it. And I'm so much more agile without the... And I'm so much more agile without all those bulky clothes. No, you're not. A regular clothes doesn't even have a penalty. Hell, it doesn't even count towards encumbrance. Are you sure? How do you know unless you try it? Well, since that's not going to happen... Well, since that's not going to happen, I guess I'll have to live in eternal uncertainty. Now get dressed. Nuh-uh. I can hide better naked. So naked I shall remain. Okay. Uh, hey, what if I get Durkin to cast Cat's Grace on you? Then you could stay agile, but clothed. What? Hmm. Well, I suppose that would be okay. But wouldn't it be even better to cast Cat's Grey Stand than stay naked? No! It's, uh, in the spell description. Doesn't stack, honest. Oh. Well, okay. Then I guess that will work. Quick, cast it before he changes his mind. What are you waiting for? It's a touch spell. <laughs> yeah. Peak touch on comedy! Head. It's funny because he has to touch a wiener. <laughs> well, thankfully, that little incident is over. Trust me, it was worse at my height. Oof, your hands are cold. Stand still, bless you. Hey guys, I'm back. Perfect timing, Haley. Hey, so did you get a good look at Elon's blade? What? what? You know, his weapon of choice. Uh, so you saw that, then? Saw it? Ha! I was the first to get my hands on it. Whoa! Varsuvius checked it out, too, naturally. Varsuvius? You know, I always suspected. I mean, sure, it's awfully skinny, but he uses it so masterfully. I can't cover my ears fast enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Haley. To what exactly are you referring? Um, I'm talking about the rapier I looted for Elon from that room you sent me to scout. What did you think I was talking about? Whew. Uh, nothing. Uh, never mind. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, V says Elon has been running around naked, so I'm off to see what his 18 charisma is worth under the hood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> slut. 
Please be closed. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> So this is the room where you found the rapier you gave to Elon? Yepers. And you didn't find anything else in here of value? That's right. So that statue had the gems pried out of it before you showed up? Right. <laughs> and those two goblins were killed? With green arrows. And stripped of their possessions beforehand? Looks like. And that treasure chest with the footprints of your size leading up to it, your lockpick still in the lock, and the strand of long red hair snagged on the latch. Empty when I got here. So uh, what's that bag behind you then? Diamond and products. God damn it. Stop. Elf sense tingling secret door nearby. You're a finely tuned searching machine, V. Fah, search is cross class. I consider myself fortunate when I can find my own spell book in the morning. Please close door when you are done being secretive. Hey, I'm trying to be secretive in here. Ah, uh, it's a mind fire, elephant, psionic danger, squid thingy. So, are you gonna eat my brain? No, I'm cool, thanks. What's a Z quick sweep? It's a type of fish. Oh, okay. And on a triple word score. There you are. We've been looking for you all over. Hey, guys. Meet my new friend. Hey, kids. See what the Mind Flayer is thinking. Filling, but bland. Tasty, but too sweet. Too angry. And get heartburn. Next. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah. Why is he just attacking Roy like that? Why are you reading him? I am a wizard. I had delectable 18 intelligence right before you. Would you feel better if one of us ate your brain? No, it just wouldn't be the same. A little help here. <laughs> Slurping noise. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no. Right? Is that a good wrong noise? one? Is that what it is? <laughs> That's a wrong one. Oh, the wrong one. Okay. Sorry. No, seriously, guys. Everybody freeze. Who the hell are you? We're magical knights. No, we're lawyers. Crap. The spooky wizard sent us. Yeah, the spooky wizard who lives by the coast, if you get my drift. And we're on a quest to... Phil, we're not going to blend here. Just cut it out. My name is Mr. Jones, and this is my colleague, Mr. Rodriguez. We're here to serve you with a cease and desist order. A spooky cease and desist. That monster right there is product identity. It was never released to the SRD, and your encounter with it constitutes a violation of my client's intellectual property. What, you mean the mind flit? Don't say it, it's trademarked. Okay, buddy, you're coming with us. Do you see the wizard? Shut up, Phil. Oh, and Blondie, I try to keep your clothes on. Kids play this game. So, uh, does this mean you're not going to need me? Uh, we'll call you. Well, since somebody took away our monster, we find ourselves with no plot for today's strip. How exactly is that different from all the other strips? Shush! So we've decided to just phone this one in by answering mail from you, our readers. Again, how exactly? Shh. Our first letter comes from Henry. Writing from Atlanta, Georgia, Henry asks if Zykon were to mistakenly put a treasure of immense value before you, who on the team would grab at the chance of early retirement from adventuring? Haley. 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 <laughs> well, okay, uh, that was easy. Uh, our next letter is from Richie in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Uh, Richie writes, Who the hell took the time to make giant cards with letters on them? Uh, anyway, Richie writes, I was wondering what exactly was the best use for a doily. Well, Richie, we asked Varsuvius to look into that for us, 
And here is what we learned. Oh, this ought to be good. Thank you, Sir Greenhilt. My preliminary inquest into the doily conundrum revealed that they were best used as a decorative lay on a dessert pedestal, under a cake, or perhaps a pie. However, sensing more afoot, I delved deeper into the intricacies of the pattern formed by the typical doily, and lo, I discovered that the weaving of white paper formed a matrix that resonated with arcane power, that within the mystic sigil that is the doily there lay a path taken by a few, for the humble doily is indeed the gateway to ultimate cosmic power. Back to you, Sir Greenhills. The kitchen. Here's an idea. Let's never do this again. Yeah, like we're never going to need filler again. Dream on, shorty. Uh, yes, this is a very, very old comic and long comic. I'm surprised that it's still going on. It's a simple stick comic. And yet yeah, it's, it's nicely evolved. Yeah, it's you didn't you can't you don't think that it could evolve. But this isn't even one of the, the best fucking example of it. Once we get into the Azure City and we start to see like its background work Things like that, it's so fucking cool. But anyway, what did you guys think? I thought it was adorable. I liked it. I oh, think wow. these were all smart casting choices this evening. I think everyone was, was perfectly cast for this. Yes, I'm glad that you were able to join us. It looked cute. There was, of course, the who's on third, what's on, you know, that base question. Yes. Yeah, those, pun, those puns were fun. Caleb, what did you think? I thought it was good. Very well. Dan, what else did you think? I know that you commentated on the whole meta jokes. And no, they do not stop. They do not even slow down. It becomes a meta twist. Meta thing. Including a fucking evil twin. Look, I uh, admire that it's clearly somebody's like first thing that they're just putting out there creatively and all that kind of stuff. So I may be a little too hard on it. It's uh, it's fine. Juvenile. Oh, it gets so much better in term. I I was not joking about it getting character development, especially in the Azure City. It's like once it hit once it hits into the volume two, that's when things really pick up and we start to flesh out characters and a plot to an actual plot that centers around our main cast really starts to evolve and everyone gets their own little se segments and stuff. It's so su it's super interesting. It is a thousand pages long though. Is that, is that just what this guy or person or whoever just does it? Is this, is this like their thing that they're known for? Or do they do other stuff? As far as I know, this is the, this is the main thing that this guy has done. However, it is attached to Giant in the Playground games, which they, I believe, is are they've done a few different things. There were actually like three other comics that were there, and I don't know what happened to them anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this is the kind of the main thing that they are known for. Um, okay, Doug. I did yeah. want to say briefly that um, I read the next comic after we uh, after the one that we read. And I feel like the next comic was the first comic I read tonight where uh, I was like, oh, that's a very relatable D&D &D thing. <laughs> and it was like literally the next one, which I guess. Just, Caleb reading ahead it's a, again. It's a little comic about like, oh, he like he has to keep going like. He's like, oh, wait, don't forget you have like a new attack bonus. And he's like, oh, right. I guess that I guess that first attack hit then like, yeah. like stuff like that. Like, that's a very relatable like D&D &D thing. And it's sort of silly to think about in the context of the. So. So, yeah. It's, yeah, I, th I think you think I, I remember they actually, I think, brought that back up. Anyway, Stanton, I didn't hear from you. Yeah. Um. I don't think it's the greatest comic in the world. And <laughs> I don't catch any of the references and I don't play D and D. So I, yeah, it's kind of like a, a, making a bunch of puns that go over my head constantly. So I just don't get it at all. 
but I could imagine if I understood it, I might think it was funny, but I to- I don't, so I don't. That's that. It's, it's going to be a long month for Stanton. Yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be a hole, that's for sure. But <laughs> I'm uh, th- this comic isn't very good, but I'm going to stick through it because I like the voice I am using for this character. So um, yeah. I, I think I think the character's fun. So I'll, I'll survive. It's going to be okay. Yeah. To be fair, Balkar is like one of the most animated characters. Well, we'll hope to see you and everyone else uh, next week when we continue reading uh, Order of the Stick. Well, then, this has been Al Mizzou and the boys. Say goodbye, boys. And one girl. Goodbye, Bye, boys. Bye, everyone. The girl is a boy, too.